Hello everyone and welcome back to the match here on WE 2K22. This one suggested by MZK Punk is John Cena going one on one against Austin Theory. Theory so far in our universe mode. Two matches, two losses. So terrible really. Uh, um, he needs a big win here but Cena I think might be a step too far for him once again. And Cena in full control, as you can see, just swinging Austin Fury into the ring now. Big boot into the spine. And Cena in firm control. Big forearm strikes into the back of Cena. Cena now, once again, he had control for a split second, but now gets the elbows and the gut by Austin Fury. But Cena able to turn things back around instantly. Nice big back elbows. Cena now just pinching away. At the neck of Austin Theory. Theory now has Cena under control once again. I mean, if Theory could pull off a win here, this really could turn things around for him. Like I say, two matches, two losses so far, uh, so far for him. But, of course, in real life, really getting a push. Fury in with a big drop kick. Nice standing moonsault by Fury again. Another standing shooting star this time. Nice quick little cheeky roll through there by Fury, trying to steal the victory. Cena able to kick out. Fury now bringing Cena back up to a standing base, striking the face now around the back, and Fury. Nice package, Michinoko style driver. Cena is in control once again. In with that belly to belly slam. Cena with the boot now right into the arm. And now Cena looking to lock in the STFU. Will Fury tap? If he does, it's going to be an embarrassing loss for him. No, Fury is able to break free. Austin Fury now grabs a hold of Cena, takes him up on the shoulders. This really could be make or break for Austin Fury, but I keep talking about Austin Fury. Where's Cena in the grand scheme of things? We've not really used... We used quite a lot of him during a Great American Bash, didn't we? Uh, John Cena currently sat on minus five. Holy crap, John Cena's right at the bottom of the rankings. Well, apart from Jobbers, that is. That is... That is I, I was surprised by that, to be honest. I weren't expecting that to be that way. Uh, Austin Fury dropping a boot on the arm and now in with that standing shooting star once again. Fury now brings Cena back up to a standing base into the corner. So maybe I will talk about how big this is for Fury. This is one that Cena desperately needs to win. But Fury just takes him down with that over-the-top cutter. And that could be game, set, match here. It's not. It's only the two, though. Fury once again stalking John Cena. Looking for the super kick, but Cena caught the leg. And now Cena... Wow. Telling Fury that he could not see him. Taking him down. And now Cena up on the shoulders. In with that attitude adjustment. There's the pin. Is that going to be enough? No. Austin Fury kicks out now as well. Cena once again with the pin on Fury. And this time it is enough. Wow, okay. Cena, as you can see, very happy. He needed that win desperately, desperately, desperately. Uh, Austin Fury, though, 
Three matches now for him. Three losses. And that moves him down to a minus three in the rankings. Cena moves up to a minus four in the rankings, which is still pretty damn poor. But it's uh, it's an upgrade for him, isn't it, really, I suppose? It's definitely an upgrade for him. Uh, okay, we'll leave it there for now, then. Hopefully you've enjoyed this one. Of course, if you have, hit the like, subscribe, the good stuff. And I will see you again later on for... Well, we've got championship matches coming up for you later on. Uh, House of Black versus Evolution next up for the Tag Team Championships. And then, to finish off the evening, Deanna Parazzo versus Becky Lynch for the SWE Women's Championship. Good night.